join us today for an update on the cabin and to see what life is going to be like living here for the next couple of weeks. We now have a door frame. What are you doing, George? Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, 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 just this top section to go. It's about three quarters of the way done. Hopefully by the end of the day, it'll be done. Quick update with the cabin. So we have the entire side of this pod complete. Cabin, glamping pod, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and we are almost to the top on this side. <clears throat> We're getting there. And here is our entrance. We have ourselves a little makeshift door. And let's step in, just taking my boots off because we actually have some kind of flooring down. <laughs> so inside the cabin, we now have insulation, flooring going down. I, my task for today is to insulate this side. But I've spent a couple of days cutting up this. So we've cut out squares for this to put in the floor and then we've gone over. So we've got double insulation. It's gonna be nice and warm in here. We are not going to have cold feet when you're walking along or anything. Um, down this end, we have our windows cut out ready. And so yeah, we are getting there. We have down here, our little makeshift kitchen. <laughs> So we're going to be living very simplistically for uh, the next however long <laughs> and just a few things which will make up a kind of little makeshift kitchen soon. So we'll have a video update just how we're kind of getting through living very, um, yeah, simply <laughs> because we obviously have no services at the moment. We are going to have to be almost like rough camping it but in a hard shell so at least we're nice and warm and cozy so yeah we'll see how it goes hopefully windows and door should be delivered tomorrow so we can fit those and yeah and then Ashley's going to finish off the cladding on the outside today there's not much left so you can see from the inside where it is so if we look here you can see it's nice and light we've literally just got this little strip here this is all done we can feel that it's done just from there to the middle and it's complete apart from the ends obviously the ends need doing as well Ashley ran out of screws yesterday so <laughs> we had to call it a day because by the time we ran out of screws it was um all the shops were closed so yeah so he's out getting screws now come back finish off the cladding whilst I'm back to insulation yay picture this so these are our windows this one here will be a bathroom and this one will be the bedroom. So you will be lying here in bed with this view. Obviously this soil is going to be gone. This is just what we've dug out to get the, cam uh, the glamping pod in eventually that we all use at the bottom of the garden to resurface. But that view over there. And last night we saw a couple of sheep. We've seen deer down there, amazing. wondering what toilet in is going to be like before you've got a water connection this it here it is nice little pot here <laughs> Tada! like a real wild camper oh I don't even, there we go voila <laughs> on today's agenda of living without services we have our own homemade washing line <laughs> inside so yeah, the local laundrette is so expensive and just kind of begrudged spending money on it. So I just took it down there, washed it, but then didn't dry. And we have ourselves a little homemade washing line inside. At the minute, because there's no windows and stuff inside the house, it's actually quite breezy inside. So I'm sure it's gonna work out. <laughs> For the next. Ah, oh, seriously, Ashley. <laughs> 